On Labor Day of 2022, we are in the middle of an extreme heat event, one of the worst California has experienced. The demand on the electric grid exceeded the supply, and we had to bring on the temporary emergency power that we've been developing for the last year. We've developed four of these TM2500s, each capable of 30 megawatts, totaling 120 megawatts, which is equivalent to the powering of 120,000 homes in the state of California. These units are capable of bringing power online within 10 minutes at full capability. They are last on and first off during an emergency event. They don't run every day. They only run very uh, typically maybe less than a week a year. And you also see the stacks that are on them. The large stacks are part of the emissions control which reduces the threshold of emissions down below the thresholds required by the local air quality maintenance districts. So we're not only operating as clean as possible, but we're also providing critical energy to the state's grid to meet those high demand periods. Becoming renewable and becoming uh, green in our energy development for this state is gonna take some time. It's gonna take a lot of effort and we've gotta work together, but we still have to make sure as we do that process, as we make that transition, that we have the ability to also sustain the grid and meet the demands as we go through not just normal day-to-day -day events, but extreme heat events like we're experiencing now. We have a plan of doing six more this year to be online in quarter three of 2023. It's always enjoyable when you put forth a lot of effort and then you get to see that effort realized into a successful outcome.